Hi everyone, this is your instructor Joy. Um, a subscriber is wondering about sight reading. How does one improve sight reading? Sight reading is when we get the sheet music and we have to play without having time to practice or prepare. So it's a good skill to have, to have a good sight reading skill. Um, I'm going to talk two different scenarios. So if you have to sight read for exam or auditions, then you're alone, or your uh, music was given to you, then you have to play. If you're doing such uh, sight reading at the exam or auditions, uh, ignore dynamics, ignore fingerings, ignore bowings. Um, that does not matter. What you should pay attention is correct note, correct rhythm. That's it. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, if you can play correct note, correct rhythm, and correct bowing, correct dynamics, etc., it would be perfect. But it is very, very hard to get all that. So you have to aim for the most important facts when it comes to sight reading when you, when you do at an exam or audition, which is correct notes, correct notes and correct rhythm. Meaning, check the key signature. Do I have sharps, do flats, and how many? Do I have accidentals, or sharps, flats, and naturals within the piece? Yeah? And then, uh, you don't have to jump in right away to play. It's okay to take for you to take three to five seconds time, uh, or sometimes, 20 seconds, something like that, you might be pushing a little, but still, take a moment and then check those things. Check line, what's a key signature? Uh, check number two, what is time signature? Meaning, is it 4-4, four, four? do I have four beats in a measure? Or is it 3-4, do I have only three beats in a measure so that you prepare yourself? What's a, what's a, temp, what's a time signature? Then, number three, Check the accidentals. Do I have the other than from the key signature? Sharps and flats uh, throughout the piece. Note that. Four. Play slowly. Very, very important. Uh, I see my students when, when I train them for sight reading, they just play when it says allegro, which means fast. Start playing fast. No, 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 no. No matter what it says, no matter if it's uh, allegro or presto, does not matter. When you are doing sight reading at the exam or audition, you're alone. So take slow enough tempo. Remember, you get only one chance to play. Slow down. Slow so that to, you have enough time to think and prepare what the next notes are. In a second circumstance, a second scenery, if you're playing um, in a rehearsal, or a different kind of uh, ensemble uh, atmosphere, sight reading, then it's a bit different approach. Yes, you still have to check the key signature. Yes, you have to check the time signature. And yes, you have to check any unusual things, such as accidentals, sharps, flats, and naturals without, uh, within that piece. You check that one. But here, when you're sight reading, in our rehearsals or in a group, it is important for you to um, to check the bowings, yeah. Because in uh, ensemble playing, when everybody goes down, you have to go down too. When everybody goes up, you have to go up too. So bowings matter here. Uh, let's say you start rehearsing in an orchestra. Everybody's sight reading and then you missed it and then learn to join it so where when you read orchestral or ensemble pieces or any other type of music in this kind of rehearsal atmosphere learn to read music not every single bar but as a group for example um i don't climb enough music sorry several bars but the way you should read it as a, just two groups one group and then second time repeating with a different key that's one group one group one 
And then second group, it's almost like group one, but with a slight change. Just the same rhythm. Tam, 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 tam. Happens again. So, even if you're, you can just sit down and see the rhythm being sang by just, just a front note. And treat it as a group one, let's say A, and then second group, A1. Because it like, looks like A, but it's a little similar. And then the second thing happens. Uh, and then it goes like this. And then this one, you would treat it as a B. Bam, bam, tiran, dan, daram, bam. B. And then, then similar thing happened like B, but with that little change. So I would say this is B1. Yeah, like that. See if you can see music, if you can sight read music, not as an individual measure, but as a groups. And that way, it's easy to rejoin if by any chance you stop playing. And also, it's easier to listen and therefore easier to play. Yeah, um, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Uh, please share my videos and subscribe. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye.